Athol, a film about noble kings, arrogant princes and backstabbing family members. How very Shakespearean. Who directed this? Kenneth Branagh? Who's Ken Branagh? I'll tell him you said that. And I think he'll be very hurt. So, Thor is Norse god of thunder and living it up as the crown prince of Asgard, and is about to be crowned king of Asgard, as I guess Odin wanted to retire. Unfortunately, the ceremony is interrupted by a group of frost giants which causes Thor to throw a hissy fit. He gathers his mates and brother Loki to go to the frost giants' home of Jotunheim, mess up their place and see how they like it. Unfortunately, the excursion is a bit of a disaster and they have to be saved by Odin. Odin tells Thor off for being a prat and strips him of his power, his title, banishes him, throws his magic hammer after him and says he can only get his stuff back when he proves himself worthy. I feel more monarchies should do that. Thor lands in New Mexico and bumps, literally, into a group of astrophysicists, including Dr. Jane Foster and Eric Selvig. They don't believe his ramblings about Norse gods, rainbow bridges or eight-legged horses, but they try to help him out, although they're soon the ones who need helping out as S.H.I.E.L.D. turns up to investigate the mysterious hammer that's fallen from the sky and nick all their astro data. Thor breaks into the S.H.I.E.L.D. compound, steals back some of Foster's notes and gets angry because his hammer doesn't like him anymore, and Hawkeye's there too. Meanwhile, Loki realises he's adopted and has an argument with Odin which sends him into the Odin sleep because the film needs him to be out of the way for a while. Loki is now king of Asgard and his first order of business is to rub it in Thor's face and his second is to invite the frost giants for a little let's murder Odin in his sleep party. Dr. Selva gets Thor out of the chokey so he can have some romance time with Foster but Thor's friends soon pop up to bring him home and they're followed by a big Asgard robot thing which was sent by Loki to kill Thor. It's a sibling thing. Thor sacrifices himself to save the people, which means he's worth it now, so he gets his stuff back. Beats the robot and heads back to Asgard to confront Loki. Alfie, the frost giant king, turns up for the Odin murder party, but it turns out it was a kill Alfie when his back is turned party, followed up by destroy Jotunheim with the Bifrost after dinner mints. Thor arrives, they fight, Thor destroys the Bifrost to save Jotunheim, and Loki has a Disney-esque fall off a very high thing death. Yeah, that'll stick. Odin wakes up and everyone's happy again except for Thor who is unable to see the woman he fancies because the Bifrost is broken and will take a couple of movies to fix. Oh, and Loki's alive because the Avengers film is coming up and he's the best villain so far. It's tough to be a god, left with nothing but your bod. Find some scientists, yeah, keep them sweet, maybe fall in love. Let's fall in love.